Tars and the Chiefs game is the focus for Rod Kafer and Foxfield this week. He's got all these new little gadgets cranked up to show us how the Waratahs might learn some lessons from the Reds last weekend. Here's Kafe. Last week against the Chiefs, the Reds delivered a coaching masterclass on how to beat the defending champions. They did two things really well. One, they got out of their own half and didn't allow the Chiefs to accumulate points. And two, they competed heavily at the breakdown. The Waratahs can do the same with this guy, Michael Hooper. He is a player we know can put real pressure on at the breakdown. He's a guy who can compete heavily for the ball and his games improve. Average runs, you can see, in, in attack has really lifted. Defence, he's also lifted more than what he did last year. Turnovers, again, generating plenty this season to get to last year's tally. They were led around last weekend, the Reds, by none other than Liam Gill. And I think he had an outstanding game. Was heavily involved in everything. And his season's been pretty good. You can see from the stats, average runs are up. Average tackle's about the same. It's what you expect from a player who's heavily involved. Last season, it was his turnovers that were really impressive. 23 in total and already 11 for this season. Let's have a look at what he did last week, which was really, really good against the Chiefs. And it was his work at the breakdown early on that defined how the Reds were going to play. Heavily involved in the game, knowing that the Reds were going to flood the breakdown. He was one of the players who got back first four minutes of the game. Gets into a position to turn over the ball and crucially gets an understanding from Steve Walsh about how he's going to referee the game. Puts it in his mind that knowing that he can compete slightly off his feet at every opportunity and did it throughout the whole game. We'll see him come in again, getting the balance of the referee right, comes from an onside position through the gate, players flooding the breakdown, he's the first there. He gets himself into a position to crucially turn over the ball and was one of the standout performers for the Reds. The Waratahs, if they're going to beat the Chiefs, two things, get out of your half, compete heavily for the ball.